what we have basically here is one of the most fascinating expressions of a complete breakdown of morality, but also a real expression of what postmodernism has become. So basically, you have the worst congressional hearing in U.S. history, where Liz McGill and the presidents of Harvard and MIT and Liz McGill is being the president of Penn, basically are unwilling to say that calling for the genocide of the Jewish people uh, violates harassment and bullying. And then SNL chooses to make fun of Elise Stefanik instead of actually calling out what is perhaps the funniest and most egregious violation of the postmodern philosophy for the past decade. So postmodernism, it's essentially the breakdown of truth and reality and all meta structure, meta principles, and saying that we've come to the realization that there is no truth, religion is outdated, it's essentially a fairy tale world. And in with the new, out with the old, we basically have to break down the structure of the past. We have to break down religion, we have to break down the patriarchy, we have to break down essentially everything that was and bring in a new era of a revolutionary new thought of utopian society, socialism, bringing in the best of the limited life you have in this world and not pretending like they're going to have some afterlife. It's the unspoken new religion, the new cult, the new in ideology of postmodernism. Now, for the past decade, what the left has done is they've weaponized speech. They said that if you use the wrong pronoun, if you say something that hurts someone's feelings because they identify in some way and you have violated their internal identity, even though it's impossible to play that game because people can choose their identity every single day and there's no way to actually structure that legally, they have weaponized that in order to further the agenda of breaking down the past, breaking down history, breaking down tradition, breaking down religion, and bringing in a new era of thought. And they basically said that if you say something that is expressed as offensive, even though there is no objective offensive because it takes away objective, objective reality, uh, that's wrong. You're going to be canceled. You're going to be destroyed. We're going to basically take you out because you are uh, in the way of this new frontier. Now, why has the left come out against Israel for the past couple months? Because Israel represents the left's worst nightmare. Israel is a religious democracy. Now, the left wants to do away with religion, with essentially any structured tradition of ideas and any true meta reality. So you have a congressional hearing, which basically asks the president, you've been weaponizing speech for the past 10 years. Anything that's offensive has been seen as wrong, morally wrong, and, you know, within the cancel culture, you're out. And yet people are actively calling for the genocide of the Jewish people. They're calling for the death of Jews. They're trying to basically continue the Holocaust. And we're not seeing any, we're seeing implicit support and explicit support from the university system itself. What is happening? And on public display, universal public display, the presidents who were basically, you know, basically trained by lawyers on how to respond said that it, it basically depends on context. And unless it turns into conduct, it's not seen as violating our principles, where if someone said something that violated one person's feelings in the transgender arena, that would be seen as the most egregious moral offense. And yet calling for the death of Jews, it depends on the conduct and has to turn into conduct. What SNL had the opportunity to do was to actually be funny, but they turned into the funniest and saddest expression of the death of comedy, which is what's happening all around. Co co comedians are no longer able to be funny. That's the cancel culture. Unless you say what is within the line of the old left realm of what is true, you cannot actually express what you believe is true, which is a hypocrisy because the transgender movement and the old left movement is the expression that there is no truth, so you can say whatever you want. But then it's only you can say whatever you want within what we think is true. So they've basically taken ownership of the truth. So we have basically seen the funniest and most explicit display of the complete breakdown of truth, the complete breakdown of the postmodern ideology, the complete breakdown of comedy, and SNL basically losing any credibility it has left of trying to actually be funny. No one watches it anyways, but it was funny, and that's why it went viral, of people seeing just how sad the left agenda has become.